Hello, I'm Fabrizio and today we are going to explain how to use VI, VI or VIM, VIM from Terminal. VI is a simple text editor used often to edit programs but it can be used to edit every kind of file. The name has a region from the abbreviation of Visual. It allows user to edit text files from the terminal. It was originally created by Bill Joy in the 1976 for one of the first BSD version. On the 1991 Bram Mullenar write an improved version of VI called VIM. Originally it was the acronym of VI imitation but with the release 2.0 it was changed on VI improved. VIM includes almost all the commands from VI and lots of new ones. It is an open source text editor, multi-platform, multi-windows and buffers, syntax highlighting, command line editing, file name completion, online help, visual selection, etc. Actually, it is one of the most popular text editor on Unix-like operating system, but it can be used with the graphical interface on Windows with, with GVIM, graphical VIM. GVIM adds menus and toolbars used with the support of the mouse and the access to commands line functionality through graphic menus. But in this guide we will check how to use VIM only from the terminal on Unix-like systems. Ok, the first thing to do is to install it. If you are on Ubuntu on, or its derivates you can easily install it typing sudo apt-get install v VIM many distributions have installed it as default so you can try to type on terminal VIM and check if it starts in my case uh, it is already installed so I don't need to install it again to start VIM we can open an existing file typing VIM and the file name for example in this case I have to put the path so desktop vim.txt ok this is our file or create a new file typing vim and the file name to create for example vim desktop and the name for example um, testing vim.txt ok this is our new file so this command will create a new file with that name in our, our current folder and it will start automatically vim, vim so let's see the basic commands of vim vim can operate in three different ways command mode, insert mode, visual mode the command mode move you through the text and let you perform editing tasks the insert mode allows manual editing of the text and the visual mode provides functionality for text selection. My suggest is to read the, man, the manual for understanding the basic of VIM. For example, man VIM. Or, if you want, you can use the colon help command that is built inside VI program. So, let's check how to use VIM. So, now let's open this file on my desktop, VIM.txt. To move inside the text, we can use arrow keys this way, but if you want, we can use K to move up, J to move down, L to move right, and H to move move left. Shift and G will move the cursor at the end of the document. Shift G. These are the most used commands on VIM. So we have NDD to delete 
at n lines from the current cursor position so we go to VIM and we must type n number DD so I type 3 DD and I delete 3 lines n DW to delete n words from the right of the cursor position so I go here and I type 10 TW colon Q to exit from Vim but of course uh, I need to save before exit from VIM so I type uh, colon W that uh, it's the, the code to save start and now I can exit with colon Q ok let's go inside again now, if I want to save and exit uh, all together, I have to put W and Q. So I can save and quit my file all together. If I want to force the, the exit, I can type colon Q exclamation mark. I must to type double Y to copy a block of text. I type it and then to past just type n number and p to past so I decide to past it five times so I type 5 p and it was copied five times if I want to move to line n inside the file I can use this command colon 10 I am on the 10 line if I want to switch to insert mode I can press A to move to switch to insert mode and move the cursor one space to right or I can use the I to switch insert mode just press I or I can press O to insert a blank line under the current cursor position and switch it to insert mode. It doesn't seem, but they are all in one line. So, to exit from insert mode, just press ESC when you want back to command mode, this way. If we want to switch to visual mode, press V. As can you see, I am on visual mode now ok these are the basic commands from use VIM from terminal but if you want uh, to learn basics you can use v VIM tutor that is a command that can, that can be executed from terminal to open VIM and this file let's type VIM tutor and it will open this file this is a VIM tutorial that helps you to learn basics of the program in just half an hour it gets installed together with the VIM installation so you just need to execute it be sure to make a copy of the file if you are gonna edit it because it will be opened inside VIM of course so if I press insert I am on insert mode and I can change it so be careful really careful because I can save it if I want and quit so v VIM is a powerful text editor that should be chosen by programmers that want a lot of functionality and tools for working. Learning VIM is a smart idea if we want to have total control of our files from the terminal. This is all for now, I would like to thank you for watching.